Time tonight for the latest in our series, Streamlined, where we bring you some of the biggest films and TV series hitting screens worldwide, speaking with some of the actors and creators behind them. Everyone's favorite foul-mouthed teddy bear is back and taking you to 1993. Ted, the TV series, is a prequel, coming-of-age story that dives into the early days of Ted and his best buddy, John, played by Max Burkholder. Let's take a look. I haven't had sex, I haven't had a girlfriend. I'm a loser. You and me have been best friends, like, our whole lives. We're about to get high for the first time. Can we have drugs, please? Let's do this right. And Max Burkholder is here with us now. Max, I have watched a few of the episodes. I don't know if I need to remind you, but we do have to keep it a little clean here tonight, yes, okay? Yes, I've been instructed <laughs> very, very gravely not to say any of the stuff that I, that I might have gotten away with in the series, for well, sure. congratulations. Off to a great start here. So it has been eight years since the release of Ted 2, more than a decade since the first movie. What can fans expect from the show? I think people can expect, um, you know, obviously not a lot of exactly the same, but the same type of humor, certainly. It really is just Seth MacFarlane's humor set in the context of like a 90s sitcom. Um, it's, it's foul, disgusting, degenerates doing what they do best. And if you liked the movies, it's the same team that was on the, uh, that was on the show. So I think you're gonna like the show. I think it feels wholesome. There's the family element and everything sure. until it's not wholesome at all. Even a little bit, yeah. Um, what about for those who may not be familiar here, who don't know the story of Ted, why should they tune in? Um, if you've ever had like an imaginary friend or something like that growing up, or maybe your kid does something like that, and you want to see what it would look like if that friend aged with them, then this is the show for you. And the show has been a hit. I mean, people are responding to it. Uh, it's setting Peacock's viewership records with its debut. How did it feel to join like an already established franchise? I mean, it really helped in terms of like confidence going into it. Like ahead of the release, I was like, you know what? This is, this is Seth MacFarlane. He's a proven guy. Obviously he's been in the business for so many years. This is proven IP and also, you know, just from the experience of shooting it, I knew just from how hard it was to keep a straight face every day that it was gonna be funny. And people seem to really been liking, to, to be liking it. Like you said, the response on Peacock, the stuff I've been seeing on social media, people are really liking it. You know, some people have, have DM'd me and reached out to me saying like, I was, I've been going through a really tough time and this has like really helped me get through that. Like, I, I really appreciate it, everyone who's, who's reached out and said something. Let's talk about Seth MacFarlane now. Yeah. Okay, so tell us, how involved in he, uh, was he in this whole process? Were you talking to like an animated bear or was he there to like do the voice at times? Yes, well, he was there every day. He directed every, every day. episode. He directed every episode. So he would be standing off to the side with the monitors in front of him checking out all of the shots while simultaneously delivering that fantastic performance at the bear. He was wearing like motion capture stuff for a lot of it, which was a godsend. You know, I wouldn't, it's so his sense of humor that it would have been impossible to get it right had he not been there for the banter and the timing of it. I don't know how you kept a straight face. Also, you have a pretty decent Boston accent yeah, in the did, show. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Did Seth help you? Uh, no, he Own didn't help in? me with that. I, uh, the studio set me up with a, uh, a dialect coach that I work with pretty closely for a few months, and uh, he helped me. It's not bad. It's not bad. Dialect. I can't yeah. do one. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Uh, and it was originally pitched as a limited series, but fans seem to be on board for a season two. People have been asking for what it. What do you think? People have been asking for it. I would love to do one, obviously. I haven't heard tell from, from either Seth or, uh, or the network about it, but... I think people really loved it. I think there's clearly like a demand for it, for this kind of comedy, for this like straight farcical R-rated R humor. Like, I, I think people really want a season two and I'm one of them. And Max, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. And it was so nice meeting you. Ted is available to stream on Peacock right now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.